Okay, so uh, if you want to add uh, things to the top of a website uh, using the Divi Builder and you're on a blog post, um, you can do this within the Theme Builder, but you'll have to design a theme that will be used over and over again. There's a few different ways to do this and kind of advanced. So uh, right now I'm actually in a blog post editor, not where you want to do every single blog post, but here you can pick the blog post title and pick the elements that you want to display. So that might be things like uh, the title uh, of the blog post, whether or not there's meta information like categories, comments, authors, uh, name, things like that. And then uh, a featured image, whether or not it exists. And if it goes above or below the title or as a background image behind it. Now, after you put that in there, then you can go into uh, some of the areas where you can uh, uh, do things to edit the sizing of that. Uh, so in here you can come in and limit the, uh, the max width or height of the featured image uh, with CSS. Um, I think as well, I'm gonna let that drop in there. So this is in a full width row if I uh, if I wanted to, I could also change the uh, max width of this row. Now, um, let's see, I don't have an image loaded in to this particular draft post. So let's say I just uh, come in and grab uh, an image to use here. Uh, and we're talking about squarish images, I believe. I'm not sure if I have a square image. Uh, maybe I do. Um, so here's a portrait. This is a 400 by 400 uh, image, uh, stock art in this case. And let's say I want to give this a title. So title and and let's say I drop that in there and uh, it spins up and saves, it should do a a bit of a refresh in a second, I believe. Maybe I have to do that again. Oops. Now you'll notice I'm having trouble reaching in here and grabbing these lines. Uh, it's partly because I'm in the visual builder. Sometimes for things like this, we need to uh, go into the wireframe mode so that we can uh, grab the elements that we need to grab. So I do want to show the featured image. And I do want to show the title. Oops. And so put that back. I may have to do a page refresh here since I added all that stuff after the fact. It's kind of the reverse order of what I'd normally do. So it's just to refresh the page. And this, by the way, is a footer. Uh, I'm using a theme builder footer and it preloads before everything else comes in. So here comes that image now. So we've got the blog post title uh, and that image that I loaded up into the featured image. Uh, and it's actually showing up twice because my page settings are probably set to show uh, the featured image by the default settings. And I'm not sure if I can get at those from here, but uh, there might be, I might have to go into the old WordPress edit page to turn that off so it doesn't show up twice. Uh, not obvious by now. This is one of those things I would sort of consider uh, intermediate to an advanced thing. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, close out of there. I'm going to edit post to edit the same post because we need to turn off a couple uh, settings. And I'm trying to edit with the Divi Builder. Of course, I don't want to edit on the front end. The way I've got this specific site set up, it's going to be quirky. Ah, here we go. Uh, they were there, I just missed them. So uh, I want to turn off the Divi page settings because I want to manually control these. So I'm going to hide the post title and um, I don't like the sidebar generally either, so I'll go with full width or no sidebar. And I 
think that'll cover part of that. So we save the draft. I've been, uh, normally I use the classic editor, but lately I've been trying to uh, get familiar with going back and forth between Gutenberg blocks and, and Divi. So uh, there's that featured image that we'd added. So let's take a look at it again fresh here. So it fits in. And now it's only listed there once, and it's just the blog post title. So the default page settings had to be turned off first. Now at this point, that's a really big image, uh, far bigger than I'd recommend, especially for a 400 by 400 image that's been now blown up to be almost close to full screen. So what are, are our options? Uh, so again, I've mentioned uh, we could probably come in here and do something like max uh, width. Oops. Keyboard just jumped on me, hit the wrong key on my trackpad. Max width, 400 pixels. Uh, and uh, so that cuts it down to its actual size just because I've, I've set it to be max width. One way to do this. Um, let's say we don't want to do it that way. We want to try and find a different way. Now, I have all of this put into a row. Uh, and let's say um, I could do something where I use the rows to help uh, change the width and come in here and do this. And again, uh, I'm going to switch into this mode here just to make it a little easier. And that changes it as well. From that point, I can uh, do some things in in the row width over here, the column width that is, um, with sizing. So I could, uh, let's say, add some padding up there and on either side of it here, which squeezes it in within this column that it's uh, sitting in. Um, I could also uh, have it animate in uh, a couple different things possible there. But this is a, a general concept of one way to uh, visualize where this can happen. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing this for all your posts from a, inside the actual blog post. That's not what I'm recommending. This is just showing one tool. So let me uh, instead hop back to the admin area uh, and I'm gonna hop down into the Divi theme builder And uh, within this area, uh, I do not have a blog post template created yet. Something I haven't done with my own rebranding. I've been working on other people's sites. Um, but I can come in here and I can say on all my posts, if that's what I want, uh, or on posts from a specific category or a specific list of individual posts, um, I want it to look a specific way. Uh, and there's ways to exclude as well, so I can use on and exclude from in a number of different combinations. So I'm going to say on all blog posts, uh, and as soon as I do that, if I have a global footer in place on my default template, it's going to uh, add that here. I can get rid of it if I want, uh, or I can edit it if I want. And at this point, the uh, what I want to do is come in and build a custom body. load up an editor. This, uh, I, the reason why I showed it to you in the way that I'm doing is the theme builder doesn't always necessarily um, have the actual images that'll show up because it's working dynamically with all the posts that you might have. And uh, so uh, it gets a little uh, different that way. And in this case, uh, I'm going to switch to browse a layout. Um, and uh, because doing things on the fly like this, not always the fastest, easiest way to go. So let's see uh, if, uh, if I've got something handy here. Uh, so I'm looking for a blog post page layout. 
And this allows me, these are uh, free, I believe these are available from Divi. Um, and uh, so there's a number of different ways to do it. You'll notice that some of these have like a title and an image in the background. Uh, others have something different. So like this has, uh, and these are blog pages. So this would have your roll up of all your blogs, but we might be able to use uh, some piece of this for something similar. I'm just looking for a quick example. Uh, or maybe I can do a post. Not sure if I have any of these in this particular library. Blog post page. Uh, yeah, this is a little better. So, um, so here we on this example here for a magazine post layout, uh, they've got what's probably a featured image over there. So I'm gonna uh, say go with this layout and. It's going to take a minute to load in, depending on your server and how big the file is that you're uh, importing in. Uh, this can take a, a second or two, or sometimes it can take uh, some minutes. And uh, there it goes. How fast it goes usually depends on how many images are in that thing. So here is... Uh, some stuff. So it says your dynamic post title will display here. That's because this is set to pull in a, a dynamic post title. And one of the, so if I tap on this, bring up the selector, and I look at the elements that are showing here, it's showing the title and the meta. And I'm going to drag this out of the way so we can see a little better. So it's got that meta information. Um, it's got categories. Uh, and uh, those are down there. It looks like it's actually showing in a couple different places, so I could have some options. And it's got a featured image, which I think is down here. So I could go with that little image down there in this particular setting. That would be one option. Or this is uh, likely a fixed image. It's been loaded up. That's why I'm actually seeing a picture there. But I can get rid of that. Uh, and once I I'm looking at the screen that says add image. There's this little bitty thing. To me, this looks like a database, but when you hover over it, it'll pop up and say use dynamic content. And in this case, it gives us a list of things that we can touch from uh, WordPress. Now I have advanced custom fields running, so I have a number of different things on here that I could potentially get that's uh, a little beyond the default, which normally be like site logo and featured image for and author profile pictures for an image. If this were a different type of field, it might have other options. But I could take the featured image and say, I want you to load the featured image here every single time. And uh, at that point, then I can also uh, come in here, since this is an image module, this is different than my other example, I can come in and I can set the width uh, and the height and the max width and the alignment. Do I want it right aligned, middle, etc and lock that in. Lots of different options there. Uh, this is, again, probably an intermediate, maybe an advanced level of uh, thing that can be done and kind of designed to be set once. Once I'm done with that, I, I would hit uh, save. And, and currently, this is I'm working on my own personal life site. Not necessarily recommending this for anybody. You should probably make a backup and do this in development. But this would turn it live on all my posts. And that's not going to be what I'm looking for. It's going to be screwy and broken and all sorts of stuff. So I'm simply going to get rid of it and I'll need to uh, save my changes uh, when I uh, do that to uh, pull that out of there. And actually, um, in this case, I'm not ready to uh, commit to any of this for uh, my blog post. I need to. Uh, it's a good reminder to me to speed up and get some of the stuff done for myself. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this whole little customized section for posts. I've got some other things I'll set up for other reasons, but I don't. Uh, uh, I don't want to do my blog post yet. I've got some other groundwork to do before I get there. Don't know if that helps, but good luck.